Okay, so this video is going to teach you how to use your calculator for some of the binomial distribution um, calculations we're going to do. And there's two different functions. So this is on the back of the note sheet. And you need to know when to do which one. So one of them is called binomial PDF. And you're going to do that when you are finding one specific value like x equals 2 or x equals 5. And the other one is called binomial CDF. The C stands for cumulative. And so that is a range of values. So, for instance, all the values up to and including three. Uh, and so you have to pay attention. Do you have an inequality or do you have an equality? And there's some overlap between the two. So uh, you could get an inequality that's like this. And if that's the case, um, we're not including two, so it would really be the same as everything that's less than one, less than or equal to one. But any type you have an inequality, you're going to use the cumulative function. Okay. So I'm going to work through a couple examples and get you some of these numbers. Um, and then what you're going to do is test them out on a Canvas quiz so that you can see if you can do the calculations. Um, first of all, to show you where this is at in your calculator, it's under distributions. Okay. And the best way to do it is go... Uh, the other direction. So there's your binomial CDF and PDF. Okay, so first of all, let's set these up. So the probability that x equals 2, so again it's an equals, so we're going to use binomial PDF, probability density function, and we need to know what we have here. So we have six questions, so we're going to do a six trials, and there's four equally likely options. If the answers are guessed, and you, X represents the number of correct answers, find the probability that you get two right. Okay, and so uh, the probability is one-fourth that you're going to get it right, and we want to know that the probability that you get exactly two right. And so we go to distributions and go to binomial PDF, and there are six trials, six questions. The probability is one-fourth, and we want to know how many, if you get two right, then we just enter that in your calculator. And so if you have a TI-83, you would actually enter the six, one fourth, and two. It'll look just like that. And so I hit enter and I get 0.297. So there's a about a one in three chance, almost a one in three chance you'll get two questions right. So if you know here the difference between X is less than or equal to and X equals two is which function you're going to use. So for the X is less than or equal to two, we're gonna do the cumulative density function. And things will look the same, six, and it's still probability of one fourth. And this time X is two is gonna do X is two, X is one, and X is zero, and add them together for you. If not, you have to do those all individually. Okay, so that is 0.831. Again, you might wanna write down what goes in your calculator. So this, this number right here, how you're gonna enter it. So six, one fourth, and two. Okay, now, the probability that X is less than two, we're not including two. So this is really the same as the probability that X is less than or equal to one. So I'm, I'm adding the one and the zero. So I could do this two ways. I could use my PDF, and add the probability that x equals 0 plus the probability that x equals 1. Or I could do it all in one step and do the, the probability that x is less than or equal to 1 using the CDF. I'm going to show you a little something here in your calculator that will save you some time. If you hit second, enter, it just pops back up what you had before. And since we're doing the same problem, I can just change the 2 to a 1. So well, that's going to give me the probability that x is less than or equal to 1, which is 0.534. Again, if you used binomial PDF and did it for 0 and wrote it down and 1 and wrote it down, those would add up to this number right here. Okay? So the tricky ones are inequalities when you have, a, when you have this range of values. You have to split this inequality up. So this is an and. I want the probability that x is less than 6 and the probability that x is greater than or equal to 3. Well, greater than or equal to 3 means I can subtract, so I want to say and not, which is subtraction, 
x is less than 2. All right, so we're going to use the CDF function, and we're going to find binomial CDF for 6, 1 fourth, and then um, x is less than 6 means we're talking about S, x is less than or equal to 5. And from that, you're going to subtract the probability that x is less than 2, less than or equal to 2, because we're, we want everything bigger than 3, so we don't want to include 3 in that. So, we, so this, this 6 does everything from 5 on down. And from that, we want to take away the part that's two on down. So you can do that all in one big step. Okay. So binomial CDF six, one fourth, uh, five. And then I can just do minus and do it again. Six, one fourth, two. And we had to do that too because we didn't want to include. We want to keep the three. We don't want to discard it. We're subtracting. You get 0.169. Really important that you push the buttons and get that to work out right. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next example here. So state if the random variable is distributed binomially. We're not going to do that very much, but the variables need to be independent. So things where you uh, one depends on the other doesn't work for this, but we're only going to do ones where it works. So don't worry about that part of the question. It says, if so, find the probability it's asked for. So the probability of a biased coin is 0.74. The coin is tossed seven times. That's your trials. And then A is the number of tails. So a little tricky here. The probability of a head is 0.74. So tails would be 1 minus 0.74, which is 0.26. So then it's just a matter of entering uh, the numbers it's an equal value. So we're using binomial PDF. Our number of trials is seven. Our probability is 0.26. And we want to know the probability to get exactly five in there. So I'm going to put that, I'm going to enter this in. I know I'm using good old fashioned calculator so you can see me enter it. So I want PDF because I'm, I'm doing a specific value, seven trials. The probability is 0.26, and the x value is 5. So that's 0 0.01366, so 0 0.0137. Keep going here. A bag contains 10 red, red dice, one blue die, and seven yellow dice, so there's 18 dice together. A die is selected at random and its color is noted and then it's replaced. This is repeated 12 times. If it didn't say replace, we couldn't do it. If it said took it out, then, then we have it's a more complicated question. So we want to find the number of yellow dice and it says find that the, there are six or less yellow dice. Okay. And so that's going to be a binomial CDF cumulative and we are doing this 12 times. The probability of getting a yellow die, there are seven of them, so it'd be seven out of 18. And we're gonna enter six because it just simply says less than or equal to six. So I go binomial, distribution, trials are 12, probability is seven eighteenths. You can change it to decimal if you want or let the computer do it. And that's six, simply 0 0.861. Again, push the buttons. Make sure you can get this to work out. This is the time where if you don't have a calculator, you want to get one. Wab it. It's not very helpful here. And I added one question here. So you can pause and see if you know what you're doing. Um, so this is another one of those range values. So this really means seven. This is really the same as the probability from two to seven with equal signs. So I need to take the probability that my number is less than 
or equal to seven. And from that, I'm going to subtract. I want it, I want two to be included. So I'm going to subtract the probability that X is less than or equal to one. So one or zero. So anything from one or anything from two to seven is in my group. So I'm taking out the one and zero and I'm from this seven or less. So again, binomial CDF because it's cumulative. And I'm doing the same number of trials. So I still have my 12. Same probability because the same question. So this is going to be 7. Okay, so that's 0.951. But then from that, I'm going to subtract. The probability of 1, which is, is all the 1 and the 0. Okay, so you get 0.928. If you didn't use the cumulative function, you would have to do the probability of one, the probability, you have basically, you could do everything from two to seven. You have to do two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus seven using binomial PDF. Okay, on the back of this paper that you have, there is another example that's similar. It's not the exact same. This has six questions, so that's the same, four likely options, and they take you through some of the different scenarios um, so you can make sure that, I checked that, that is exactly the same. You, are, you can check to make sure that your entry values are right, and I'll, I'll see about getting another example. If you search on um, Google or under YouTube, either one of those, Google would have some explanations, Google, YouTube would have videos. Um, I would just type in search, uh, or um, binomial distribution TI-84 or TI-83 if you have, and then there's videos, there's tons of video examples because people do this a lot. So we will have a Canvas quiz, um, and the Zoom will help with some questions. We'll have a Canvas quiz with just calculations, see if you know what we're doing before we come back together.